<coughs> excuse me. Right, okay, let's take this um, 1997 on our Land Rover Defender 300 TDI hardtop with county pack for a spin. Um, charge light comes on, oil, oil pressure light doesn't, in fairness. Um, don't know why, and the heat light goes out again as it should. Starts nicely when it's hot, certainly. Um, I did 40 miles on this last night and it performed absolutely faultlessly. I'm going to leave the window open because it's got a slightly special exhaust on this one, so uh, actually pays to um, pays to hear it. But it's really rather good. Showing um, rather a few miles, uh, actually showing 186,000 miles, but in fairness it's got loads and loads of new parts on it. And these um, 300 TDI engines are good for massive miles as long as they're uh, looked after. And this one does appear to be well looked after, should we say. Not the last owner, spent an awful lot of money on it, one way or another. Mechanically standard spec. Um, certainly engine-wise, except it said the EGR valve removed and blanked off. Uh, we do have that if you want to put it back on. The important part, as you may be able to hear just there, it's got a full twisted performance. Stainless steel exhaust system on it, sports exhaust, which um, gives a slightly more baritone sound. Um, looks great. As I say, it's a proper twisted performance one as well, which uh, cost over £500. It's also got uprated springs and shocks on it. Can't work out if it's got a lift kit on it or not. It's certainly got um, um, big wheels and tyres in it, but I think it's just the extra height of the, um, the rolling radius of the tyres in fairness. It certainly doesn't um, roll around the way that uh, ones with lift kits normally do. But I really can't fault the way it drives. The turbo whistles up nicely, it's not smoky. Stops nicely as it did there. Um, no funny noises from the brakes or anything. Everything seems to work. And it's actually quite comfortable because it's got a pair of um, Exmoor trim uh, comfort leather front seats that are heated as well in it. And it's also fairly quiet inside, and I've got the window open now to hear the exhaust, but it's got a full um, acoustic mat set in the front, so it is actually uh, a lot quieter than a lot of other Defenders. As I say, I did a fast 40 mile, 40 mile run in it last night and was really, really impressed with it. Steering's nice, it's not wandering over the road, it's going exactly where it's placed. Lo and behold, the steering was actually on straight as well. All the instruments in front of me are working properly. Speedo, fuel gauge, temperature gauge and uh, the clock. As I say, no funny squeaks, bangs, groans, rattles or clunks or anything. If I let my foot off sharply, there's no backlash whatsoever in the transmission. Always a good sign. Into fifth. I'll change down to second again in a minute so we can uh, see what second gear synchro is like. As I recall, it's pretty good on this one. The gearbox feels nice. You'd be You'd never know it's actually done 186,000 miles if you knock the one off the front. That would feel much closer to the mark really. It still feels really tight. Just feels like a very, very good defender indeed. Down to third.
down to seconds absolutely fine there. I think that's about it really. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. End.